today we are going to make a dragon fruit and here are the materials you need. Begin making your seeds by using a black polymer clay, rolled into thin snake and bake completely. After baking the black clay, slice it into thin pieces. Another option for the seeds is to use a 0.5mm black sands which you can purchase in the craft or hobby store. Next. Take your white clay mixture and flatten them using the rolling pin. Spread the black clay seeds all over the white clay and mix and knead them together until the seeds are evenly distributed. Use your hands and rolling pin to mix the seeds well. And after mixing, roll the white clay mixture into a log and set it aside. Take the light magenta clay and slice one fourth away and set aside. We will be using that for the scales. Next, use your rolling pin to flatten the remaining part of the magenta. You can cut it into half and put them side by side to make it wider. And then cover the white log with the magenta clay and make sure no white clay is visible. And then roll the lug until the magenta cover is smoothened out. After that, you can set the lug aside. So for the scale, arrange the color in this following order. We are going to make a Skinner blend out of this. And before folding, roll the clay and make sure that they are sticking to each other. And then fold the clay towards you one time and roll again. Do this um, step several times making sure to fold on the same direction until you get the effect you want. Also, keep on reducing the clay after each roll. And then once you are satisfied with how it looks like, start reducing the clay and then stretch it to the opposite direction so that you will have a longer strip. And then shape it like a Toblerone and set it aside. Next, take the magenta log and slice about 5 to 7 millimeter. And then close both ends of the log and shape the clay into an oblong. And then slice the oblong clay into half. You might wonder that you don't see much of the seeds but don't worry about it because once the translucent clay is baked then you will see more of the black seeds. To add the scales, slice the clay thinly using a sharp blade. I find the scales too big so here you can see I am slicing it again to a smaller triangle. Now 
Now start adding scale on the very top of your fruit. Make sure that the green part is facing upward. And then, blend the magenta part on the fruit. Do all of this before adding the scales to the lower part. Now, to make the whole fruit, just follow the same step you did with the half fruit, except that you won't be slicing it into half. After having all the scales added, try to separate some of the scales from the body and some just leave it closed so that it will have a more realistic look. And then completely bake the clay, let it dry and seal it with varnish. Thank you for watching this tutorial and enjoy your new project. Don't forget to click subscribe and get notified for new videos. Bye bye and see you next Saturday.